Hi, I'm Zach Heisey. Welcome to the Dana Garage. Today we're going to talk you through the installation of our new Ultimate Dana 44 front axle. It's an upgrade for Jeep Wrangler JK vehicles. Some of the features of this axle are thicker tubes and brackets, chromoly axle shafts, raised track bar mount, modified steering stabilizer mount, high pinion 44 design, genuine Spicer gearing available in six different ratios from 373 to 538, an electric locking differential, and a nodular iron diff cover. One of the updated features of the new Ultimate Dana 44 axle is an increased pinion angle without sacrificing caster angle. Caster is what keeps large tires straight when you're going down the street. The increased pinion angle improves the drive shaft angle coming down from the transfer case. You may have noticed that the new Ultimate Dana 44 didn't come with wheel ends, knuckles, rotors, calipers, wheel hubs. It's because you need to reuse your stock pieces. So now we're gonna take ours apart. So we have our original axle out and we're ready to install our new Ultimate Dana 44 front axle. We have the original wheel ends off and ready for reinstallation. But before we put the axle in, I installed the new extended bump stops on the axle that came with our lift kit. These might look a little different depending upon which lift you use. Install the upper control arm mount. Move to the other side. Now we're going to install the lower control arms. You may notice the hardware I'm using doesn't look new. It's because it's not. You can reuse most of the original suspension hardware. You're going to torque it to the manufacturer's specs once you get the vehicle on the ground. We're lowering this down enough to get the Pull those springs in. You see that there's a pocket in our coil bracket to capture the end of the coil. Make sure that the end of the coil is seated in there just like ours is. And after the lower control arms, come the shocks. Okay, takes care of the shocks. Move on to the wheel ends. So it's time to install the wheel end. I have our original knuckle. We're gonna install that on the new ball joints. We're gonna use the new ball joint nuts that were supplied with the Ultimate Dana 44. Dana also includes the ABS wire bracket to keep it out of harm's way. Make sure you don't forget to put it under the upper ball joint nut when you install it. There's an arrow and a left and right. Arrow goes toward the front. When you're installing the new ball joint nuts, Make sure you refer to the factory service manual for the proper torque specifications and installation sequence. And once we have those tight, install the new cotter pins that come with it. Now it's time to install the shafts. In our chromoly axle shafts, we have our Spicer Life 1350 series solid body U-joints and full circle snap rings. Some of the other new parts included in the crate are the axle tube end seal and the shaft guides, two per side. You want to install these to the first groove on the shaft. What these do is when you install the shaft into the tube, they help the shaft go into the seal without damaging. We have our shaft guides in place.
You'll notice that I've reused the original bracket for the ABS sensor. And I'm also going to reuse the original holders in the bracket that we just installed. Some more new hardware included in the crate, our new hub to knuckle bolts. And again, we're gonna to torque these to the manufacturer's recommended specifications. And so you get them all snug, torque them down. Last piece of new hardware is the axle shaft nut. You may have to pry the axle over with a bar in order to get the track bar bolt in. The Ultimate Dana 44 incorporates a raised track bar mount, so when you have a lift kit, you don't need the bracket that came with your lift kit to raise the track bar mount. It's already built in. Another product from Dana is our Spicer Long Slip front drive shaft designed specifically for two to four inch lift Jeep JK Wranglers. It has a smaller diameter tube to clear the exhaust on lifted vehicles and has a double carton at the transfer case. A lot of the aftermarket drag links for JK Wranglers are massive just like the one that we have here. We wanted to make sure that we had a raised steering stabilizer and still have enough clearance for these massive bars. Next up is the tie rod. Just like any other time you do major suspension work on your vehicle, you will need to have your Jeep professionally aligned. And always make sure you use a new cotter pin. Now that we've finished installing the drag link and tie rod, it's important to note that the Ultimate Dana 44 was designed to work with your stock components, but it will also work with upgraded aftermarket parts. Because of this design, you must change your steering stabilizer from a loop, loop style to a loop pin style. After you remove the shipping plug, you can install the vent hose. Dana sells a switch and harness kit that powers the electric box. The Ultimate Dana 44 is shipped without oil, so you will need to supply your own 75W140 full synthetic oil. You'll notice our nodular iron diff cover has two fill plugs. This is to cover all genuine Dana 44 axles, but for the Ultimate Dana 44, you want to fill to the bottom of the lower plug. Remember to torque all suspension components to the manufacturer's specs with the weight of the vehicle on the ground.
Under no circumstances should individuals attempt to perform any repair or maintenance procedure for which they have not been properly trained or lack proper tools and equipment for the repair, including, but not limited to, safety glasses, boots, clothing, etc. Always wear the proper safety glasses that meet the OSHA requirements when performing maintenance or service. Failure to wear safety glasses can result in personal injury and or partial or complete vision loss. Always be careful when working with any products that have sharp edges. Always be sure to follow proper torque specifications carefully. Failure to do so may lead to premature component failure or damage to the vehicle components. Please be responsible and dispose of automotive fluids properly. Check with your local auto parts store for the proper recycling requirements and locations in your area. Considerations The Ultimate Dana 44 front axle is for all Jeep Wrangler JK model years. Dana recommends using a professional lift when installing axles. All fasteners should be torqued to the manufacturer's specifications once the weight of the vehicle is on the suspension or on the ground. For additional information on the Ultimate Dana 44 product features and installation tips, visit www.spicerparts.com forward slash ultimate 44. For additional information on the Spicer Performance Drive Shaft for the Jeep Wrangler JK, visit www.spicerparts.com forward slash jeep.